the question says write down the resonance structures for SO3, NO2 and NO3 minus. Let's take a look. If we have SO3, actually SO3 would go very lovingly like this. And it would not have any significant resonating structure simply because SO3 is the way it is. The most stable structure is this and the other structures would not be close to stability as comes to this one. If you have NO3 minus and NO2, it is very interesting. This is an odd electron molecule. This is NO2. And the moment you write down this structure, there is an objection. What? Why minus here and double bond here? So you can say that there is a contributing structure. Like this. So NO2 actually is a resonance hybrid in between these two structures. Nitrogen carries an unpaired electron and the bond order of NO bond is, it is neither 1 nor 2, it is in between, it is average, it is 1.5. This is the structure of NO2. This one more, well write down NO3 minus. If you have seen NO2, I am going to modify this and convert this to NO3 minus as well. How? Watch. This is NO3 minus. I'm just putting formal charges there, like this. And double bond can here and here, and there is one more place on which double bond can go. And what is that? Just at the top like this. So these are the three contributing structures of NO3 minus. Bond order, if you care to find out, will be 4 by 3. Why? Because one sigma bond is always there. Pi bond, it is just like carbonate. So pi bond either here or there or there, it is divided between 3. So 1 by 3 is the contribution of pi bond to each NO bond. So 1 plus 1 by 3, that makes it 4 by 3.